Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. We are back with a series playing chess every day until I'm 2500. Guys, as you can see by this graph, before two months, at the start of the September, I was at 2040. And since then, I have grinded chess basically every day. And you can see my rating going higher and higher. And just today, I have hit my peak rating. I am at 2343. That's the highest I have ever been on any chess platform ever. So I'm just excited and I want to break 2350 mark in this video. Let's just jump straight to it. Okay. And uh, before I hit the search button, you can see I have created an arena for my viewers. And basically there will be gifted prizes. You can see it uh, all uh, just by hitting the link in the description. It will transfer you to my club. Then you can apply. And when I accept you, you will be able to play in this tournament. So don't miss out. Okay, let's just hit the search button. I am looking for my victim to get 2350. See you when I have find a pairing. Guys, we have found a pairing. Let's go. Okay. We are playing against some guy from uh, United States. Oh, he's actually a Twitch streamer. Nice. Okay, knight of 6, c4. Okay. Uh, this, basically this uh, move, move order is kind of unfortunate for me. Because when he, they play c4 first move, then I play e5. And now they have done this, so I cannot play e5 anymore. So we have to go in the Grunfeld, which is really not ideal here. Okay, but we can't really choose what we do. Okay, let's play c6 and then d5. Okay. Now this line of Neo Grunfeld I know very well, because I have played multiple games in it. And actually, I have uh, quite nice results. We just take here. If they take here, basically, they will lose this center pawn. Bishop to here, I think, could be a mistake. It could also be good. Basically, now I can take this knight if I want to. And then play knight to c6. Or I can try to st uh, stay here. Okay, now is the time uh, to think. Basically, okay, if I take this knight, they will take like this, and I go knight to c6, that is for sure good. There is nothing bad about it, and we will have a nice game. But then, if I basically go knight to c6, they might, there might be knight to b5. I'm worried a little bit about that. So knight to b5, I guess this, I don't know how dangerous that could be. I can also play bishop to f5, but then queen to b3 might be a little bit annoying. Knight to c6, it's it's what you usually play. Let's see, knight to here, and then bishop to f5. Knight to here, rook c8 is good. Oh, I'm, I, don't, I have nothing to wor worry about after knight to c6. Okay, knight to here. Now we might take here. Um, we can also try to maybe play g5. Kind of looks crazy, but don't they win a pawn that way? I like crazy. Will I win a pawn? Um, let's see, basically g5 takes here, pawn takes, bishop here, takes, 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 e6. <laughs> it looks dangerous, but I like dangerous. Mm. Do I do it? I mean, g5 is really a ballsy move. 
but basically in the end I'm not quite sure am I better in that position so let's see basically this if he takes then after I take it is really fine for me and um, I don't oh but g5 takes here then I take the bishop knight the jump somewhere or I take him then then they jump here okay let's do it it will be fun at least I don't see a way that I can really lose material and I will create chaos, which is my, my style of chess, so let's just do it. Okay. Now he's thinking, which is good I guess. He has, bl uh, he has blitzed out all of these moves. I believe that it is still theory, but g5 uh, will definitely, uh, definitely throw, throw him off. A little bit let's see what he can do I think I have played this guy before yes once and I beat him so that's nice I wonder if he, if he's streaming right now because he does have his twitch in the bio oh we'll see hmm by the way guys, now when we are waiting, I had this exact position against a uh, one nine year old kid. You wouldn't believe it, but he was actually, uh, he wasn't higher rated than me or he was a little bit higher rated than me. He was like 1900 feet eh? and he's just a crazy kid. Very good. I think he was in European championship. He placed it quite high. And stuff like that. Basically, he's a very good kid. And we had a pretty uh, symmetrical game. He took here, I think, and basically played knight to e5. Something like this guy. And basically, uh, in that game, I took here and play like, played e6. It was all prep. So, I don't know. Okay, knight to here. Now, we can play knight takes here if I want to. Or we can just take, <laughs> let's see, knight takes here, knight takes here, I take the queen. Oh, but if I take here, pawn takes, I take here, he can take this one and he will be up a pawn. So let's not do that, let's take this knight. And basically uh, we had a pretty symmetrical game. In the end I started to attack him and he got scared and offered me a draw. And I saw a way uh, that he can like uh, defend from my attack, and then start, and then he could have played a pretty, how do I say it, um, very deep strategical chess. And then in the end game, I would be a slightly worse. Then I thought, okay, this guy, uh, this kid really earned a draw, so I gave him a draw. Okay, now if I take here. He can take this one, but then I can take in the middle, he can take here, then I can take this one. I think I should take the bishop, really. Why did he give me, why did he give me his bishop? That's, that's the best piece in the game. Okay, not really, but it's a very good piece, I don't know why he did it. I believe I should just take this bishop. Now we have pressure over here. Basically, I don't really care about my G-pawn. I'm not getting attacked in this position, so I don't really care. I guess I have missed that after bishop takes here, this pawn will be weak. But, you know, if this line gets opened, I won't complain too much. I am still, I will still be fine. So, per se, I don't know. Bishop takes here, I take here. Uh... If he trades queens, I will take, take, play bishop here, play bishop, uh, play rook here, bishop here. I'll have an active bishop, rook b8, targets this. He is pinned this way, so let's take with a queen, right? Uh, yeah, let's take, takes with a queen and goes here. I think that's my idea. Yeah, let's do it, why not? 
I think he has a way here to be a little bit better. It's to take the queen, bishop takes, rook here, bishop back here to defend this pawn, but then he takes this pawn. In that endgame, I should be a little bit worse, I think. Oh, but you know like, uh, what I can do? Uh, queen takes here, bishop takes here, rook here, bishop back here. Okay, he does it. I will go here with my bishop. Okay, he takes this one, but I don't think this is very good. Because now rook e8 activates my rook. Next move, I will go rook b8, activate the other rook, and I will go bishop to a6 to act activate my bishop as well. So it should be, we should be pretty, we should be vibing, guys. Okay. <clears throat> now, I think I will play... Okay, I can t here take an aggressive route or passive route. Basically, I can try to go for rook here and rook here. Uh, that's very crazy, I don't know. <laughs> um, basically, bishop, like e6, he moves his pawn and then like bishop to here. But I don't see him... I'm definitely having an initiative here in this position. I guess if he ever plays e3 himself, then he might be a little bit better. So I think I should play uh, e3 myself. e3, then he will probably push any of these pawns. And then I, I go like bishop to a6. Yeah, let's do it. So e3. Basically what I want to do with this move is make his, um, basically open his position up. If he takes, I will probably even take with a rook. Yeah, uh, oh, okay, uh, his connection disconnected, but I'm sure he will be back. Basically when he takes here, I take with a rook. And then I set up this discovered attack, which is so nasty. So basically when he takes here, I take with a rook. I don't know, he has to move his king. But then I take here, he takes this and I take this one and I'm already quite better. Wait, will he... What? This game really disconnected. In the middle of the game. Okay, let's see. The game was very high accuracy and he was he had more accuracy, so props on him. 26, 2726, let's see. This was all good. Apparently knight here isn't a move. What's a move then? Oh, it takes. I can never get my lines right in this Groomfeld. So let's see, this is basically an equal game. <laughs> G5 is a mistake. Uh, let's see what should have I done. Probably something boring. I'm not giving this bishop for for the knight. No way. This engine is crazy. I am not giving this bishop. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, that's a mistake. I, uh, you probably uh, realized from my reaction. I was surprised why he do it. Should he? I should have taken here. Oh, I would still have a bishop pair, but this bishop pair is stronger than than the other one that I had in the in the game, because now I've, now I wouldn't lose a pawn. That's the point. Basically, when now when he moves his bishop, I play like rook b8, bishop a6, queen here to protect this pawn, and I would have a very nice game. Put pressure over here. Put pressure over here and play with my queen. I understand why this is a miss. Because now, after all of this, realistically, uh, after f3, he's a little bit better. So I'd play bishop to a6. Rook fe1. Oh, he needs to... Wait. Rook f... Oh, rook fe1. He needs to protect very passively like this. And I would probably do something like this, then 
and then rook, if he plays rook to here, I would probably take take and play like rook d2. And this this looks very nasty. I guess he can play bishop to c5 to control this pawn. But wait, then I would do this. And if he takes, he is losing. And he would need to defend like rook a1. That looks that looks very nasty. And I can even do this and have a completely equal position. I guess he takes here, but I get a rook on a 7th rank. This is completely equal. I guess he can still try to push for something. He does have this uh, a pawn, but I don't need to simplify here. I can, after rook a1, I can just go back. Okay, rook king f1, but I can even go this way. It's very hard for my opponent to defend this position. I would enjoy playing it. Too bad he disconnected. Really, I wanted to play this guy. But on a bright side, we have cr uh, crossed 2350. This is so good. I'm so excited. It's, it's my peak. And we are getting close to 2500. I'm just amazed. I never really thought that I could get this far. In this series, I thought that after like a year of posting, I would be at this stage. But it only took me like two months. This is crazy. Thank you guys for supporting me and watching my content. I mean, the the growth is really crazy. And that's why I'm doing this arena for you guys. I'm, I just want for you to have fun. This video will be maybe a bit, little bit shorter and it's really disappointing that I didn't get to play out the whole game. But our rating mark has been crossed. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.